Hey, welcome back everybody. Welcome to my uh, video log on uh, getting the Band of Brothers box set assembled and ready for oops, ready for uh, the table. So today, as promised, we're going to get started on uh, getting all of this stuff together. So what I figured I'd do is I'd start with the uh, the Germans. So let's get their screws out and their assembly card. So this is the card which I briefly showed you uh, yesterday. Basically the card is designed so that you can uh, get an idea of what kind of scheme you want to use with it or what kind of scheme you want to use with assembling them. So let me see. I'm gonna see if I can get you a better shot. Of okay, this. hopefully that's a little bit better. I moved the light. But uh now if you look at this card, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well these are two the same. But basically there's ten figures already assembled here. So if you just did these same figures, you could get ten. There's only twelve on the sprue. Uh now this actually wouldn't make a good unit. Looks like you've got two officers. Uh, they like said a young Waffen SS, Panzer Faust guy. Uh, this guy looks like he maybe has some Panzer Faust or any tank grenades. Uh, another Waffen SS, the Zeltbahn camouflage. So and then you have your MG42. Uh, and his uh, his loader or his carrier so I'm not going to do all of these but I am going to do uh, a few of them so I think I'll definitely do like the MG42 although I, I think you can do him firing these show him carrying although I have a lot firing so I don't know maybe I'll do the carrying uh, the salt guy here so, and if you're not familiar with it, basically what these, what this table does is it tells you how to match up arms to figures. So for example, let me just kind of see if I can zoom in here on uh, there, arm 40. So if you look at arm 40 and then you go over here to where it says 40. It says arms with the STG-44 assault rifle. So in the past, it was separate weapons and arms. So you needed the, that to tell you what arms to put with like the individual weapon so that they could hold them properly. Now it's not as important because when you have one arm and shoulders and weapons attached, you just attach the whole piece. But if you still want to do individually, so a better example would be 28 and 29. And that says that is the MP40 left arm and assault rifle. Okay, we're back. Uh, when I left, I was just basically trying to explain how the arm system worked. But essentially, the numbers here, like 27, says this arm is for the MP40, MG42 assault rifle. So you'd match it with that arm. But... Uh, what I'm going to do now is get started on the German sprue because I want to make some progress uh, while I'm doing this. So let's start on that. Okay, you can see here I got the uh, German sprues out. Uh, and I don't know, for some reason it looks like there's uh, there's three of them, even though it says you only get 12 guys. So... So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But then you got another sprue. Just thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So it looks like we got eighteen guys. Now whether we have enough to build eighteen, I don't know. What I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, start taking off some of the bodies, which is kind of usually the first thing I do is assemble, disassemble my body. Okay, I'm back. So what I wanted to just kind of show you is uh, I've got some of the miniatures laid out that I've gotten off of the sprue. 
and typically this is what I do. I build them in sets of five. So I think I got six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I got the body, the head, and then the arms. And these two are part of the, the old system where you would match the arms up. So I think that's, no, that's not the one. I think it's this guy here with the MP40. So you can see the weapon is detached. And then these are the two arms I matched using the uh, sheet I showed you earlier. So I've got, this guy's going to get an MP40. These guys are going to get your standard rifles. Uh, this guy is another standard rifle. This looks like an, I think that's an STG. ST, where's the, where is it at? That was the assault machine gun or the assault rifle which is STG 44 so he's getting the uh, the STG 44 and I think this guy's gonna have an STG 44 Let's see. yeah because that has like a little stock on the end that's how you can tell and he's gonna be an officer but so I've got them all, I've got all the bodies and heads matched up. And then this makes it much quicker when you start to glue. So when I use the uh, plastic cement, I can glue them together as one piece and then sit them on their base and let them dry and I'll have five done. And I've just found out that that works better for me than trying to glue one arm on one guy at a time and then trying to find a head and so forth. It's just, I've got everything I need to complete these guys other than the backpacks. So I'll be back after okay, I get them assembled. So that's the first five or six assembled. And I'll just show you what I've done so far. So we've got an officer with his uh, STG 42. I always get these. I don't know why they put 40 after every weapon. That's friggin' confusing. Uh, what did I say that was? STG 44. <laughs> okay. Uh... This is basically just a standard trooper with his uh, rifle, KRR, KAR 98K. And while I remember that, we'll do another one with the KAR 98K. And he's in the, uh, I forgot what they call it, that, that camouflage, but uh, the Zeltbahn camouflage cape. So I like the guys in there. Uh, we got another one with the Zeltbahn camouflage cape and the STG 44. This guy I just did uh, with like a basic little soft cap. And again, he's using the, the I mean the KAR, the KAR 98K. If I can get that to focus, it doesn't want to focus on him now. All right. That's fine. You don't have to focus on them. And then finally, I got another guy here with the MP40 assault rifle. And this is one where I had to do the arms and the weapon and everything separately. And I like to model some of my guys pointing up. So if they're walking past buildings, for example, they would be looking up to see if there's anybody in the upper floors. So it's just, you know, it's an aesthetic. I got so many in other poses that, you know, it's not going to. It's not going to hurt my inventory to have a few kind of looking up like that. And so that's those five. And then we're going to do five more. Because really right now what I'm kind of interested in is whether or not I get 12 or 18. And I did double check the box. And the box says you get blah, 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 blah. You get 12 German Grenadiers. But I think it's enough to do 18. Now I'm hoping they didn't short me on my Airborne. Because if they did, I'm going to be calling somebody back. But uh, for the time being, we're going to move on. We're going to put another set of five Okay, together. I'm back for one minute. I want to show you something. So when you cut these uh, bases off, they tend to have these ridges, which you're going to have to file away. Now, one thing you can do is, you know, you can take a hobby knife. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this very well. But uh, you could take a hobby knife and kind of 
Let's get that edge down like that. And usually there's three of them. Now that takes a while. And if I'm only doing one or two, I don't have a problem with that. But when I'm doing more than that, I bought this sanding block. And I don't remember where I got it at, but it's, it's like a sponge, but it's kind of tough. And then that way, all I do is I'll take that ridge there and rub it on this block. The second one, rub it on that block, and then it's smooth, right? And that takes maybe two seconds to rub each one of those. But you can get through a lot that way. So, you know, like I said, this is, this is somewhat pliable. I don't know if I got this at the hardware store or Michael's or whatever. But when you're doing 40 or 50 of these, that's a huge savings over sitting up there, you know, clipping them all off. Okay, so I'll so I wanted to show you my next set of six. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, I got arms, heads. The only multi-part arms I'm going to do is here for the uh, the MG42. I think that's what it's called, which is the the Hitler's buzzsaw. So I did them. I'm I'm going to do that in multi-part so that he's he's kind of carrying it uh, at the hip. At least I think that's what it'll allow me to do. This guy again is your KAR 98K, another STG 44, STG 44, Panzerfaust, and then another KAR. And I did check that other sprue. That was actually an airborne sprue. So I do only have 12 of these. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get these. Okay, together. so, and I now present to you my completed German Grenadiers. And that is 12. Uh, I also wanted to show you the uh, plastic cement that I use. And this is by uh, Testers. This is, this is not the thin type. It's just, it's a regular strength. But it goes on real thin because there's a brush in there. And the CD is here because when I first used to buy these, I must have knocked five of these over while I was building and painting. And you, you basically lose the whole bottle. So after a while, I got tired of that. And I super glued it to this base, which keeps it from tipping over every time I touch it with my elbow or something. Now, you can also use uh, this here, Tamiya cement. This is a bit thicker than that, which you can see. I mean, this kind of comes out, you know, kind of like a thick sauce, I guess, so to speak. So I use this if I need stronger, stronger bond. It is stronger than the other one. Uh, so mostly on a lot of times on vehicles, I will use this uh, to bond things to the vehicle just to make it a stronger bond. This is actually pretty quick. It dries almost instantly with the plastic cement. <laughs> Uh, and you can get through a lot of figures, but let me show you what I did. So basically I kitted everybody out Almost to the max so we have the officer here and He has his his entrenching tool his uh, Pouch or his backpack there I think that might be his canteen and his STG 44. So he's totally kitted out. This is another Grenadier here. He has his gas mask. He has his uh, kit, little backpack kit. And he's wielding the KAR 98K. Another one here. Again with the gas mask. His little backpack pouch. KAR 98K. So that's three. This is the guy with the Panzerfaust. And I actually slung his rifle on his back. So I thought that was a nice thing. Since a lot of the Panzerfaust in boat action, I think you only give one shot. So there, you don't have to argue and say, oh, well, he has a machine gun or, you know, he has a rifle. So I just slung it on his back so you can see he has his rifle when the Panzerfaust is uh, exhausted. This is another soldier with a KAR 98K. Again, his pouch. I actually ran out of the other, uh, like, accessories or something. I might throw a gas mask on him, though. I think I have an extra one of those. Because I pretty much cleaned my sprues out. 
this is another uh, grenadier. You know, he's got his camel pouch. This is his uh, ammo pack for the STG 44. And again, his uh, his little backpack. Another STG 44 soldier. He has a gas mask. It looks like his little knife. I didn't put an ammo pouch on him because I ran out of room. So I guess somebody's going to have to carry his ammo. This is your MG42. And this is how I told you with the arms that is carrying it at the hip. He has uh, just a regular little backpack or whatever. He doesn't, I didn't put his ammo on him. So no, sometimes I sling the ammo across their necks, but I got some other figures I can use for that. This is again a little uh, kneeling soldier. I actually put an extra helmet back here since he's wearing the little soft cap. So I thought that'd be a nice touch to show, okay, he does have his helmet that he can don. Maybe he's trying to take a shot. You could use him as a sniper or something. This guy is another uh, Grenadier, KAR-98K. Again, he's got his regular backpack or nap pack or whatever they call those. This is your MP40. And that's his MP40 ammo clips. So again, and then finally, we have another STG44. This guy has a Panzer full slung across his back. So that way you can say, you know, say there's two guys in your unit with Panzer Fos, he would be one of them. Uh, or you can just simply say, no, he doesn't have a Panzer Fos with him. You know, or you could swap him out for the guy that just has the Panzer Fos and say, okay, he, he now has his, uh, he now has his, uh, MP, I mean it's STG 44, he now has his assault rifle, having used his Panzer foes. And that was it, that was pretty quick, I mean I think I've been doing this about an hour, uh, so it's taken me about an hour to get all of those completed, but that's the German Grenadiers from the Boat Action Band of Brothers box, and that's, uh, that's part two of my hobby vlog. So the next video, I don't know if it'll be today or tomorrow, I think I'm going to go ahead and assemble the uh, half track. Take care.